In this video, we introduce the use of a weighting calculation to modify the importance of different data points when taking the average of their values. The values shown in column B record the temperatures inside a refrigerator over a period of time, and we can see these values have been plotted on this accompanying graph. And over a period from about 1.2 to 2 hours, there is a temperature surge which could, for example, have been due to a power failure to the refrigerator. In this analysis, we are interested in the effect of this temperature surge on the decay of pharmaceutical products stored in the refrigerator, in that the decay rate of the pharmaceutical products have an exponential dependence on the temperature, with higher temperatures having a proportionately much greater effect. We could calculate the simple average of all of these temperatures, which would be just equal to average and over the whole temperature range. This would be equivalent to an average of 8.31. But we wish to develop a weighted average value such that if the pharmaceutical products had been stored at a constant temperature equal to this average value, they would have experienced the same decay as they would in this period of fluctuating temperatures. And we will call our weighted average temperature the mean kinetic temperature. The weighted dependence on temperature will be given by this weighting factor, which is the exponential of minus delta H which is the activation energy divided by the gas constant, divided by the temperature in degrees Kelvin, which will be our temperature in degrees C, plus 273.15 degrees. And then with some rearrangement of the decay relationship, we will get to a mean kinetic temperature in degrees K as being equal to minus the ratio delta H over the gas constant R, divided by the logarithm, and this will be the sum of all the weighting factors for each data point, divided by n, which is the total number of data points. So it is this equation we wish to evaluate. We must first of all find the sum of all the weighted values for each temperature. In G9, we can enter a value for the activation energy, and we will use a mid-range value of 85,000. We will enter a value for the gas constant, which is actually equal to 8.3144. And because this ratio is used so often in the calculations, we will calculate this in G11 as just being equal to G9 divided by G10. We are now in a position for each temperature to calculate its weighting factor. And so in E4, this will be equal to the exponential minus delta H over R, which we have in G11, and then divided by the temperature in degrees centigrade plus 273.15, possibly to an unnecessary degree of accuracy in this calculation. Because we will calculate this formula down to other rows, we want to lock the reference to G11. And so we will put a dollar sign in front of the row value 11, giving us the weighting factor for the first data point. We can then copy that calculation to all the other temperatures. And now, in order to evaluate this expression for the mean kinetic temperature, we have to, first of all, calculate the sum of all these weighting factors divided by their total number n, which we will do in G13, which will quite simply be equal, equal to the sum of all the weighting factors and then divided by the number of values, which we can get by using the count function, giving us a value of 2.89 times 10 to the power of minus 16, which is the value in this curly bracket. We now need to take the natural logarithm of that equals log 
of this value and then we get the value for the mean kinetic temperature as then being equal to minus delta H over R again which is given in G11 and then divided by this logarithm value minus 35.78 giving us a mean kinetic temperature in degrees Kelvin of 285.73 which we can convert into a degrees centigrade quite simply by taking off the value of 273.15. So this gives a an equivalent temperature as far as the decay of the pharmaceuticals are concerned of 12.58 over this period as opposed to the straight average temperature of 8.31.